Area of irregular figures means that we're finding the space inside figures that don't necessarily fit underneath the categories that you're familiar with, like circles or triangles or rectangles. So you're going to see how we piece those, those figures together to find the area. <clears throat> Sometimes these will be called composite figures instead of irregular figures. So finding the area of a composite figure. In purple is your how-to. Step one is to divide the figure into smaller, familiar figures. So if you look at this over to the left, it kind of looks like part of a circle attached to a rectangle. So if you will draw a dotted line right here, what that does is it splits the composite figure into a semicircle, half of a circle, and a rectangle, which are more familiar figures. They're figures that we're comfortable with. Step two is to find the area of each smaller figure. I found the area of each figure in different colors. And this is just a trick that I do, but it really does help, I think, to keep straight of which area it is that you're finding. Area of, that's not a backwards D, that's a semicircle. That's going to be equal to, see how I have the formula for area of a circle divided by two because it's half of that circle. To find that circle, I need its radius. Well, I know its diameter because across from the rectangle is going to be the diameter of the circle. So the diameter is eight feet. Since the diameter is eight, I can know that the radius is four. So I put four in where the radius was. Pi times four squared, which is 16, is 50.24. Divided by 2 is 25.12 feet squared. Then I came over to the rectangle. An area of a rectangle is length times width. Excuse me. So 8 times 14 is 112 feet squared. That brings us to step 3 to add the areas. 25.2 is the semicircle. 112 is the rectangle. Add those two together. You get 137.12 feet squared. Chandra, she wants to carpet the floor of her closet. A floor plan is shown below. How much carpet does she need? So let's follow the steps from the other board, the ones that you've written in your notes. First step is to divide the figure into familiar figures. If we'll take a dotted line right there, that splits the figure into an 8 by 12 rectangle and a triangle. So let's find the areas of each of those. Step two. Let's start with the area of the rectangle. It is 8 by 12. And 8 times 12 is 96. That would be feet squared. And then we'll find the area of the triangle. Um, area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So 1 half times the base, which is 5, and the height of the triangle. From this point, try to get out of the way here, to right there is 3 feet, but I need this space up here. Since that's opposite from the rectangle, it is 8 foot. So the height of the triangle is 8 plus 3, which is 11. when I multiply those together, I can put in 0.5 into the calculator. 0.5 times 5 times 11 is, make sure I did that right, 2.5 times 11 is, yeah, 27.5 feet squared. Now I'm ready for step 3 to add the areas. The area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle is going to equal the total area. So that would be 96 plus 27.5, which is 123.5 feet squared.
Here are two that you can practice on your own. Follow the steps that you wrote down of dividing it into shapes that you're familiar with. Find the area of each of those and then add the areas of the, of the smaller shapes. <laughs> Okay, for practice A, it may seem like you're going to have three figures, that you have a semicircle, a rectangle, and a semicircle. But the area of the first semicircle and the area of the second semicircle, you put those together, you get the area of an entire circle. And so what that is is a circle with a radius drawn through it, so you don't think it's a zero. So the area of the circle is going to be equal to pi r squared. The radius is halfway across. You've been given it, it has a diameter of 5, so the radius is 2.5. 2.5 squared is 6.25. Pi times 6.25 is 19.625 feet squared. The rectangle is length times width, 9.5 times 5, which is 47.5. Add those two areas together, you get 67.125 feet squared. On part B, you can see where I drew my blue dotted line separating the two rectangles. So the area of the smaller rectangle is 2 times 6, which is 12. The area of the larger triangle is 5 times 15, which is 75. Add those two together, you get 87 meters squared. 